for today's video, you've probably seen the title already. Do ignore that thump noise, it's my cat. He's trying to clamber at the door. I would um, show you, but I've got the... Um, I've got my camera in a good position. Let me just tilt you down a little bit further. Ooh, that's a bit too much, Dave. Okay, so today, you'll have probably already guessed from the... Well, you know what it is from the title, but I'm going to tell you anyway. It's about this aluminum case. Now, this originally... I'm going to get to what actually is the video in a minute but essentially this used to be a poker chip case it's an aluminum case just a generic poker chip case and I converted it to a box to hold my you know, my current Pokemon decks so I'm gonna do a quick overview we're gonna see what's actually inside the case and then I'll get to the main topic of the video so ignore the mess over there let's just blank it and we begin so first off we open up the case I chopped up and I'm going to move this out of the way because this is important for the part of the video I chopped up part of an old laptop case and I've just made it into a makeshift jumbo holder for now because I've got nowhere to put them I've got down behind there past those birthday cards of my wife's like a little duffel bag that's holding all my cards in tins and I've got no secure way of holding them. This bit of foam is here just to, you know, protect these here. So, what we've got is as follows. We've got my current deck in play, that one. That's a Mega Tyranitar Cross Regice deck, which is good. That is my other current deck well that was my previous current deck but I need to edit that because there were some cards I added that I shouldn't have and that's my wife's deck now that with that one um, essentially I removed some of the cards out of the deck because there were EX's and I was just trying to sort out my actual cards and that leads me nicely on to the actual theme for today now if you bear with me one second I'm going to quickly skim through one or two cards, and I'll tell you about the other loose cards there in a moment. I'm going to skim through a few of these cards, just make sure that we've left none lying around in this bigger stack, because it is a lot larger. I only used a few EXs there or thereabouts. No, it seems like I got them all out, which is good. All fine and dandy out of this deck. Now, this one's using the... Ancient Origins sleeves. My wife's deck, which, like, as I said, removed some cards, is using Groudon sleeves. So, there you go. And I know it's a very crude mod to this box, but then again, it works for me. You know, it's, it's just there because I felt like making something, and it's kind of cool. Now, my current play deck, because I don't have many or any like card sleeves left, I gave my Rayquaza ones to my friend I am just using generic Ultra Pro clear sleeves so I'll just get rid of that Mewtwo coin I'm gonna quickly pull out two EX's, well the three I think I've put three in here, I don't know exactly if I have EX's out of this deck and then we'll get onto the main topic of the video so bear with me one second and we will be there, so there's one there's two, and we should be nearly there, I think, is this the card? Yes, three. Okay, right, so just to explain, these other little doodads, so I'll move these bags out of the way, I'll explain them in a second. That is just a box of loose cards, because I haven't sorted them yet. This is the remnants of a 150 deck, but... It turned out I actually used 150 cards, not 100 cards, as the um, as the thing suggested. Now, with this box as well, I've made a little... I've got a bit of foam that came with the box, and I've made it into a makeshift um, pin holder, because I've only got two. It's a nice way to display them. And like I say, this was a one, 150 deck. We've also got underneath that, as you can see, we've got a little flap or a little pouch where I store a few extra card sleeves just in case some you know, nice ones etc and a coin those little pouches that you saw earlier um, just to just to point out these are like little jewellery cases but I don't know if you can see inside it houses my coins so one has coins in it one has counters in it so things like poison burn, actual damage counters etc 
in this one so just generic and another, this other one here holds my dice now now I've got poker dice in there oh, and I'm dropping them all over the show sorry about all the camera wobble um, so yeah just like poker dice and some one or two Pokemon dice so on to the main topic of the video it is showing off my EX Full Arts and Ultra Rare collection now they're all housed in this black and white trading card thing well Ultra Pro sleeve now first off I'll start with the Tyranitar cards out of my deck just because I can then put them back we have here a Mega Tyranitar Full Art I'll try and actually can I can I zoom in and focus focus ring so we've got a Mega Tyranitar Full Art well no that's the Tyranitar here's the Mega Tyranitar Full Art I seem to somehow pull the both of them in quick succession from like a three pack and then there's the normal Tyranitar X so that is that now we're on to this so we've got Snivy Tepig and Oshawa which is cool I don't know exactly how I'm gonna show this off so what I'm gonna do is we're going to first off move that out of the way we're gonna pop that on there and I'm going to very very carefully get the focus ring right we'll also put it on manual no autofocus because that will make it a lot nicer so we're going to open up to the first page and I'll go along as I am to tell you which are my favourites so first off we've got two set tiles at the top and those are Black Star promos along with the Venusaur which is a Black Star promo now the Trevenon EX is I don't know what set it is from but it's 19 out of 160 so autofocus is poop Although my lighting is poop too. So, let me actually pull this forward and I can rest it slightly. So, oh god. I am breaking everything. So, that's page one. To um, double back these, we have next the Charizard EX, which is Black Star promo from the Generation set. We have a Charizard EX, which is 11 out of 106. And a another black star promo charizard and a blaziken charizard two flareon ex's which are beautiful they're eh, in my opinion though i'm not i love flareon but this one i'm not in the cutesy factor because a bit too much red in my opinion but then again generations card i cannot complain so next we've got half of a ho -Oh legend card and yeah that's about it next we've got a seismitoad ex which is if I am not mistaken, 20 over 113. We got a Waylord EX, which is 30 out of 160. Now, these two cards here, the Mega Gyarados and the Mega Gyarados EX Full Art, I basically went to my local game and I bought a couple of packs to get the Pikachu 20 promo card, which looks cute and amazing. And I'll tell you another story about that in a minute. But basically, I took most of their packs, or I did do like a little hand weighing. I didn't like literally take scales to weigh it, but I hand weighed a few, and I pulled that one, and I pulled that one in the same day, and I was like, "Holy freaking balls! That is amazing!" And I've just dropped everything. So next, we've got a Kyogre or a Kyogre promo, Blastoise, which is. Let me see. It is number 29 out of 146, and then two Swamp EX promos. A lot of these are going to be promos, by the way. We've got a Black Star promo, which is here for the Empoleon Break. Mega Galele EX, which is from, I believe it's Breakthrough, 35 over 162. Now this page, this page is beautiful. Three Full Art Mega Galele EXs. Now I'm confused, my computer just spoke Microsoft Sam stuff. So three full art Mega Galady X's which are 100 out of 108. And then Mega Galade EX non full art is 15 out of 108. Okay, 
So next we've got the Radiant Collections Mew EX. Pulled that a while ago when Radiant Collections first came out. We've got the Mew promo from Generations. I got the Mew box, obviously. We've got a promo Behem break. We've got Meow Stick from the Generations set. Now again, these, sorry about the lighting. I am using just generic, like, house lights, let's say. I don't know what you call them. Big light. Groudon EX Full Art, which is cool. I like the promo Groudon. As you can see, I've, I've kind of faced them, so they're facing each other, which is sad. We have a Marowak break, and I have a funny story about that. I don't know if you've seen a video that I did. I basically pulled a Marowak break, and then behind it was the rare. Oh, no, that was... Mm, was it? I can't remember. Oh, no, it was Raichu. I pulled a Raichu break, and then a regular rare Raichu but nevertheless, we've also got Machamp EX, which is cool to have, because Machamp is awesome. Now on to my second favourite page. Well, all all the cards that I'm going to say that are my favourite are just like my top. So first off, we'll start with Agron EX. Agron EX is cool. We've got Scizor EX, Eveltal, Hydreigon. Now, these last ones are my favourites. Full stop. My favourite card out of the whole book is this Full Art Darkrai EX. There's one other card that could rival it, but that is a beautiful beast. Now again, my favourite cards, you know, Mega Latios EX, we've got Latios EX, which is, I believe, no, it's not a promo one, never mind. But this Full Art Latios EX, c'est magnifique. Um, okay, so now we're halfway through the book. Only a couple more pages to go. So we've got a few Rayquazas, Rayquaza EX, Rayquaza EX, Rayquaza EX, all three the same, along with a Dragon type Rayquaza there. We've got a Mega Deancy EX, we've got a Deancy EX, and a Sylveon EX, and that one is from the Radiant Collection set generations. We have next, if my lighting will work, Nope, my lighting will not work. It will be a pain. Now, to start off with, we've got the two Lugia EXs, both the same, obviously. We've got the Raticate Break, which is nice. I do like that. I'm not a fan of the foil pattern in the background. I don't mind the gold so much, but I don't like the foil pattern. That is one thing I don't like about Break cards and the weird little, like, floaty out bits. I prefer Legend cards over Break cards, in all honesty. The next, though, is my Shaman EX, which is so fantastic, this full art. It's going for like 40 quid on eBay, so that is cool. Now, we've also got a promo Noctowl. We've got two colourless Rayquazas and a gold secret rare one. Now, whatever you say in the comments, guys, it is classed as a secret rare. The Pokemon Player's Guide put it as secret rare, and Pokemon don't lie. Unless it's a printing error and they admit it, it is classified as a secret rare and it's got the gold border. So, <laughs> I don't care. It is a secret rare. Now we've got a few more. We've got the secret rare energy retrieval and dive ball. Mm, what more can you say? Got a Lysander's trump card. My friend gave me that. I know it's the band card, but it's still cool just to have the full art version of it anyway. And a jamming net because, you know, I couldn't think of another place to stick it. Now, the next one, we've got a Zapdos Full Art from the Generations Booster Box. Well, not Booster Box, but Generations Booster Set, along with our Raichu Break. Now, these cards here, these are something special and fancy. Now, these are from Radiant Collections, these Pikachus, but I'll try and zoom in as best I can. Focus Ring. Focus ring won't focus, it's not on manual. Okay, here we go. Well, you can see it there. It's basically branded Pokemon 20, which is super cool. Now I have, if I count very, very quickly, I have six of these, three in each sleeve because I had no other where to stick it. And then finally, we get on to the last one. Now, I don't know if these could be real or fake. Again, I've checked the side for black lines, and they seem to be okay. 
but I did get these for quite cheap off Amazon, so they could be fake. They're just um, the ancient Mew cards. I've got six of them again, along with the um, ancient Mew detail cards and stuff. Not signed or anything, but they are out of the packet. So, that's my secret rare, ultra rare collection, if you will. Favourite card on there, either being the Galady X's or the Dark Rite EX, which I think is just like sex in my mouth. Not literally, because that would be creepy. But there you go. I will focus on that Dark Rite right there. That card is just a beautiful, magnificent beast. And when, when I sent a Facebook message to my friend Alex, who you may have heard in previous videos, he was like, I want that card. I've been wanting that card for ages. But no, that is my Dark Eye X. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I didn't bore you after these 16 minutes. Take care and bye bye.